So what, what have you seen? What, what have you seen here that you've liked? Anybody? Um, well, me, like specific topics, I think that are big for us. And um, the first thing is that um, it's definitely the consumer is the next big thing. So, and it's articulated through different things. Of course, the new time that we've seen, you know, over the past like several years already, but it's still very vivid and lively. There is the augment itself, meaning you know we have to stop thinking. Uh, it's not that futuristic, but we don't. We have to stop thinking that there is the me, my physical me, and my natural kind of um, um, possibilities, and then there is technology that can enhance that. Ultimately, it's going to be merged. You know, it's going to be one thing. Me is going to be me, and Google, who's you know capable to storage all of this information that I can't deal with anymore. Um, so these are, you know, some few topics I'm taking in my notes, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the consumer's mobility is another thing interesting, you know, the fact that it's not about mobile, it's the fact that the consumer is, is now completely autonomous, you know, in his mobility, and that changes, obviously, the distribution, like many, many things. Um, and it's less about device, it's less about... In, uh, um, these uh, sorry, these interfaces, interfaces. Right. Sorry, sorry for my accent. No, it's great. It, <laughs> so it's less about the mobile itself. It's less about interfaces, and it's more about you know having already being connected, um, products being connected to yourself, like and eventually. You know, all the data is are going to be embedded in us. You know, so instead of machine to machine, we're going to be well, machine to machine. It is, but <laughs> the thing as well is, bottom line, when you go to all this speech and all these talks, at the end of the day, it's like, okay, emotions, what makes us, you know, very unique and what right. makes us human. And that's the core of the things, you know, we are very big into that. Like, Select and Y is, is very trying to claim that we provide guidance, inspiration, and emotions. Because bottom line, uh, guidance in a sea of options that is offered by digital, by you know interaction and so on, uh, we need to, to know where to go, and that's very valuable nowadays. You know, our fa faculty to to edit um, inspiration because obviously that's the fuel for desire. You know, that's where mm -hmm. everything starts, and ultimately it's all about emotions. We want to be loved. We want to to fall in love, we want to give love, and that's very human, and no matter what, like technology hasn't yet, you know, completely uh, reached out to these right. emotions. And, and it's still something that everybody is craving, so that's the truth. Um, sorry. So, no, it's okay. <laughs> I, I'll say, Chris and Craig, in, in the course yeah. of the floor, you, you're traveling around in the, in the show all day, and you, you've got meetings, but you must mm -hmm. stop and go see things. What do you, what do you, yeah. go, what do you see? Yeah, go ahead, Craig. Yeah, um, I see I see hashtags everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> everywhere like I look, everywhere I look, I'm seeing hashtags. And does that I, cause you to change anything? <laughs> it, it 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 gives me a little bit of excitement because I I remember when I first started seeing URLs everywhere, right? <laughs> and it kind of validated that this thing was real, right? The internet, and I wasn't crazy, and I wasn't like some you know kind of like jumping off the mountain. Um, and seeing these hashtags everywhere, it 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 gives me sort of that um, that reassurance that um, that people are starting to get, like you said, the human contextual yeah. conversational aspect of what it is we're trying to do. And I think, you know, I think as humans, we're constantly challenging all the platforms and all of the constraints and and and, and the stressors that are put on us, um, you know, through these platforms and trying to create. Um, meaningful relationships on these platforms and we naturally break out of them and i don't one of the things that i'm not seeing this year is like that one big you know we don't have a twitter this year or a mm. or a foursquare right. it's not that we're not seeing that one big platform i think what we're seeing is the community kind of breaking the boundaries of those platforms and starting to humanize them in a way where we're kind of taking more control over the way we create our relationships and I think um, you know the hashtag represents. It's sort of like a rally, you know. So it's hashtag whatever, and it's it's kind of like a rally to to say like this is what we're about, this is what we're doing, and this kind of where we're going. Um, it's just, it's such a beautiful kind of universal sign of um, 
the humanity of what I think social media is, is all about. So. Yeah, I think a hashtag is, is a community. Exactly. It's, it's, like, like, a, it's like a banner a and a flag. flag. Yeah. yeah, I see it as a flag. Yeah. Of, you know. yeah. We're kind of talking about community. Man. One of the most exciting things for me, especially this year, is that we may have to talk louder because oh, sorry. The, the, the group's the getting louder downstairs. It's an we are upstairs from from noise startup. <laughs> um, but is the uh, th there's actually now a lot more focus or a lot more discussion and presentations on, inter on international, which is great to see. So like there's a great uh, presentation this morning on Africa, talking about Africa being a, the hundred billion dollar mobile bullet, and just you know you've got a billion people, you've got seven hundred million SIM cards, you know, but it's not iPhones. Right, it's it's Nokia's. It's um, maybe the, one of the older Blackberries is a basic smartphone, right. mm -hmm. um, but it's SMS, right? And so how they're using it, that like our, the way we first experienced the internet was big screen, right? The way they're experiencing the internet is a small screen, and so like that conversation, ch the discussions around China and launching apps there, is fantastic, especially as a global agency. You know, those are just um, the, the emerging market, the potential, but also reminding us not to apply the model that we have now. But to think about right how we apply that. So do you have to think of that globally, or does that market have to think about that in terms of because you are global? I think it's a little bit of both. I think for global clients, you know, you you have master brands, whether it's a house of brands or a branded house strategy. But at the same time, it's what's your experience. And so, um, you know, last year a lot of conversation around mobile first. Um, but then as you start to think about when we say mobile first, what does that really start to mean um, for the for the different audiences? So I think you have to kind of do both about. What's, what do you globally um, look at that drives down, but also then what's the local innovation that you have that can even drive up? So, so what are you looking for at South by Southwest? I know what you're seeing, but what are you looking for? Well, for, for me, I'm just looking for the things that, um, that I don't know about. Like I love to discover stuff. I think we talked about earlier that there's the, you go through the schedule and you make all these plans and you've got this over scheduled day and then right. you go and there's a giant line to get in or it's you know half an hour to walk from here to here. Yeah. So then it's the serendipity. It's the yeah. things that you just bump into or someone, you know, you see a tweet or a hashtag, this is like this session and you go into it and there's 50 people but you're just blown away that I didn't know about the software, I didn't know about um, this development or what somebody was doing. So was discovery. Amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. For me, for me it's, discovery is definitely huge. I think that, uh, I sometimes think I've seen it all or I'm on top of it all. Maybe you have. And, and, <laughs> and uh, never. You know, I never. I come here. There's, 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 there's all these little. Than we are. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's all these little That's nooks beautiful. and crannies. And, and serendipity is a great word because you you see a title of a, of a panel. You know, I went to a panel about quantified self, which I thought was going to be like super like geeky and, and I thought it was perfect for what I was looking for and it was about a it was about a, a girl who got sick and had to track all her you know her, her sickness and it was it wasn't technical whatsoever mm. and it was it was a for, for us especially at our agency we build these types of platforms right. for clients um, where quantified self is, is very relevant and getting that POV you know and I'm watching her and I'm just like I I need you to pay a visit to the, to the agency <laughs> and, I, and I want your deck and why didn't we think of that you know so um, serendipity is a great word you never know what to expect and I think coming to South by you have to have an open mind and you have to just kind of explore and wander and just let everything kind of just come to you what are you looking for well uh, same you know inspiration definitely and um, balance as I said, um, and you know, I, I love the fact that I'm very, surpri not surprised, I think it's such a good, I, I try to find optimism as well. So I love all the talks about, you know, by the futurists that are usually bringing a lot of hope as well. You know, there is definitely, it's a, it's a, it's a revolution for us and a lot to accept that we are not like, we're not ending just with what we know, but it's gonna expand much more. I love the fact that there is a lot of stuff about the, the NASA, you know, and the exploration and how how the world is going to expand as well. Um, a lot of talks about how we can sustain what we have. So a lot of talks about health and how technology can empower and, uh, and facilitate, you know, the healthcare system, the health issues and so on. And in the meantime, you know, having this afternoon, you know, Al Gore speaking about um, how to sustain our Earth, you know, and, uh, and climate. So these are big, big topics that are very important, that are making us more conscious, that are making us, you know, more relevant to our client, to help them as well, to make the good choices. So all of that, I think, is, is very, and meeting people.
Final closing yeah. thoughts. Yeah. Um, South by hasn't jumped the shark. I think it's <laughs> something that we've been talking about. There's, there's, you can read about it. You can uh, read tweets. You can follow mm -hmm. blogs. But I think there's really no substitute for being here. Um, the connections that you make and all the things that we've just talked about that, that really come from it. I was been fortunate to be a longtime TED attendee and was just there. Just TED was just the previous week. And I feel that a lot of the conversations and things that happen in TED about the what if or, or both positive and negative about the future, this, it feels like this crowd are some of the people who can actually make those changes and do it, which is exciting. Thanks. Um, I think that South By is a wonderful opportunity to ignite ideas. Um, it gives you the opportunity to kind of be with a select group of people, step outside of the walls of the agency, and talk about things that you'd like to do. And you kind of come back recharged um, with a new vigor for, um, for really pushing the bar uh, in terms of what, what it is you want to do for the rest of the year. For me, this is sort of the beginning of my year. You know, so I kind of get recharged at South By, come back and try to infuse that into the agency, um, and then really just sort of bring back not just the things that I've seen and the things that I've heard about, but just the general energy of what's going on here is um, something that you just can't find anywhere else. Nice. Final thought? Well, I, I would say South By is, uh, is really fantastic in terms of uh, eye-opening, in terms of uh, accessing to the opportunities of tomorrow, too. And um, our role is probably to edit down what's relevant from what is not. Um, I would say please do it maybe in April so it doesn't <laughs> rain as much. <laughs> Okay. Uh, never forget the charger. Um, <laughs> right. and, shoes. You know, like <laughs> sneakers. And exactly, and sneakers are a good option. But, okay. Uh, well, Julie, Craig, and Chris, thank you very much on behalf of Media Post. Uh, and this is the end of our, our first day wrap for Media Post from South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. Thank you. Great, thank you. <laughs>